Hi everyone, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. I'm here to bring you another thrift haul. I hope you like thrift hauls as much as I like thrifting because I am bringing you one that I have been kind of partitioning, kind of bringing it in little segments because it was so huge and I really want to, I clear out my office to have it ready and, and back to its original order. I have an array of things, everything from handbags to, uh, it might be a, a long haul actually. I may have to bring it up in two parts. We'll see. But anyway, I'm going to start with uh, just things that I buy to either resell, to enjoy. First thing I want to start with is this fantastic dress I'm wearing. This is an organic fabric. It has a ruched, silky type of, um, well, it looks like a grow grain ribbon, but it's really a lot softer and, and silkier. It says love all the way down, a tiny little slit in the front. It is ruched to perfection. It has pockets. It's Italian, not Chinese. It is made in Italy. It's beautiful. It is a uh, perfect three-quarter sleeve. It also has epaulets, so I could roll it up if I so choose. But I absolutely adore it. It is such a comfortable dress. I can't even tell you how comfortable this dress is. And I absolutely must have, these days, I must have either cotton or linen or silk. I just am really trying to stay away from polyester and fast fashion and all of that. So even if I go down to my local Goodwill, which is where I found this one for about $13, that's what I'm doing because that's what I like. I really love the feel of linen and cotton. So this was one wonderful thrifted item that I got. It's just a simple neckline. Of course, I piled on the necklaces to give me a little color. Black can be a little, uh, it can be a little severe on white hair and the um, mature woman. So showing you these amazing little sticks. Now my husband actually got these at the estate sale where he got the Bakelite bangle and everything. He, we've got like three of these and they're all different kinds and I don't really know much about them. They have a little bit of a design here and lots of dust, I need to dust. <laughs> but they're very pretty and the other one that I got has three. Uh, it's a little, kind of like a smaller mini candelabra with three. And then I think I have another one with two, so it's three all together. I will take one day and just show you the entire uh, kind of thrifted house. I've been trying to do that as well because a lot of my items are thrifted, especially, well, lots, I would say 75% of what I have in my home, other than big furniture and things, are thrifted. And even some of the big things are like the leather sofa behind me. All right, on to other things. I am getting ready for Easter and fixing some Easter baskets for my grandkids. So I found this brand new deck of cards from uh, Winnie the Pooh, and I think they were $2 in a little tin. I haven't really decided which child will get what, but that's that there, I love that. Uh, fantastic tray, I love these trays. This one was 99 as well. I use these for everything to hold my candles. I like to have them, as I've told you before, on the coffee tables, end tables, where I'm not afraid to put down a wine glass or you know, something we may be snacking on or whatever. Plus, it's just a handy, nice decorative piece, and I bought this one as well. I found this wallet. This is, I think it's just a really pretty gold wallet. It's the larger wallet. A lot of people are, are still using these, especially when they have a little strap, because they're very handy. They can be really much, pretty much your purse. You can even put your phone in there and fold it in. There it is. So I could put it in the pocket, close it up, and there you go. Box, you know how I am about boxes, and I have been being, I have been a little bit more disciplined about them. But when I saw this one, I thought this would be perfect for bracelets, bracelets, chain bracelets, panel bracelets, that kind of thing. And then I thought, well, I don't really need another jewelry box. But I turned it over, and it's actually from Levenger, and Levenger is a um, an online store. I've been shopping there forever. It's actually build as the store for readers so they sell uh, things for reading people who love to read desk shelving special pens wonderful planners and leather goods so this is actually a pen box it does have a little tiny stain on the inside i don't know if you can see it right there through the glass tiny little stain but i was going to see if i could take that out many times with the uh, jewelry boxes i know i've cleaned them with some uh, packing tape it will pick up it picks up a little bit of the felting as well but it, sometimes it'll lift all that 
sullyness off of it. So I love this. This one was $4.99. And I remember what I loved and fell in love with so many things from that store. And they were so expensive. I, I think about the only thing I ever really purchased from there was a book holder. I have like two or three book holders and I love those. And I bought them for my children when they were studying because in those days, <laughs> just a few years ago, 20 years ago or so, everyone did have textbooks and those book holders are fabulous to hold those big fat books. So you're not, you know, fighting with the glare and everything. And I still use them today on my desk and for my uh, students at school. We, we definitely utilize them quite a bit, especially me because I love to have a book re on the ready to read whenever I get a chance, whenever I'm on a break or something. I should do this, but if I did, forgive me. This is a fantastic trinket box. It is cloisonne. It is very, very heavy. The lid alone weighs an absolute ton. It's made in India and do not use for food. And look how beautiful it is on the inside. I have some business cards in there. That's what I have in there. These dolls, these amazing dolls were also from the garage sale that my husband picked up so many freebies and so many amazing things. I could not resist this one to bring her in. I brought her in and put her over there by my bar. She's having fun over there, aren't you? Uh, no, this one. This is Alice in Wonderland. I have to list them on eBay. I used to be a big doll collector, and I really didn't buy these types of porcelain dolls. This, this one's actually not porcelain. But I just liked obscure things. We got this video in snippets today because I got a phone call from my granddaughter who was taking the last minute orders for Girl Scout cookies, and I gave up sugar, guys, for... Lent. Not completely. I'm not that disciplined, but I don't like I'm not reading every label, but I'm not having sweets and treats and cookies and candies. And that's my absolute obsession. Anyway, I was showing you Alice in Wonderland and I was telling you in a state garage sale, whatever. And so they had so many days to pull out all their things. And they gave my husband a lot of things. He bought a few things, but they gave him a lot more. But anyway, I never really collected porcelain dolls or uh, Maria Osmond dolls or anything like that. I just like the obscure. For example, I had a one-legged nun doll. I went to Catholic school and I thought this nun doll was just so cute. She had the rosary, she had the whole thing. So I had to have her and other dolls that I've just bought for whatever reason. And especially when they're dressed fully like this one with socks and shoes and things like that. And then I will keep them for a while and uh, just look at them. But normally I do sell them. <laughs> I haven't actually kept any as a collection in about 40 years. So anyway, isn't she, I believe she is Alice in Wonderland. Who else could she be in this getup? These for my granddaughter's Easter basket and they have some of this fun sequence. And they're pink aviator glasses. I have to clean them. Just scraped off that price tag. Aren't those darling? Look at those. Well, it says cotton, so I don't know if that's the store or what. But I actually like this for a tablescape. It was in the shawl, set, shawl and scarf section at Goodwill. And it's a very, I guess it's cotton. And I thought I would do it. I have some blue and white tableware. Got my spring theme going right now with rabbits and my pastel fiesta. My husband said that my table looked like a cascaron. Do you know? Do you guys know what cascarones are? Well, they're actually confetti eggs, but the real name is cascarones, and that's kind of what we have going on right now: rabbits and some candles and my beautiful pastel colored fiesta but in summer I'll do this with some yellow yet there is more right out of the bag these were some bins buys unbelievable I have to go back but oh my gosh that place is so addicting I think I wound up these wind up being like 10 cents fabulous Christmas ornament this is breakable I don't know how it survived in that pile of stuff at the bins to relax I love to knit so I make things like scarves. Definitely made my share of hats and all of that, but I am in Texas after all. So I wind up just um, giving them away and whatnot. I love this. This kind of reminds me of Harry Potter. Desiree Thrift Store. It is by, it's called Mailbag. 
and I adore these to have in my bigger bags when I travel and then, then I just and then I'll just have room for my wallet and my cell phone and I don't have to lug around my big purse or if I go to places like the bins I have a bag like this in my trunk I really love it okay it's Jolly Cat and remember the lady that uh, recognized me at the bins she showed me a jelly cat and I said oh, I just gotten a jelly cat that was weeks ago and I got one too that at the same place and these actually do sell really well much more than you think look them up look up the name if you haven't already it's a pretty common known fact among resellers but if you're new to the game there's your tip of the day jelly cat is a really really good brand this one has like little beans and stuffing so it's got you know it could be a shelf sitter but yeah depending of course on the item the obscurity etc this is like a giant woolly mammoth that cost me all of a quarter i have a an 80s home so we have a built-in bar but i also have a wonderful marble one that my friend gave me when she was moving and um that one sits over here closer to the kitchen and that's really where i have uh, my spirits and everything and i've never had an ice bucket and I always wanted one. This one has a loose side handle. It is so mid-century modern marvelous, is it not? I absolutely love it. I residue on the top with the tape they put on there and I did try the goop off and everything but I think I need to do it again. I still feel it a little sticky. Let me know if you have any recommendations. Mark ALP03. This is an amazing piece of Native American art. ALP03. It has amazing texture really beautiful i don't know how to describe it i am not schooled in that but it's a beautiful piece i i'm thinking of listing it just so i can find out about it <laughs> honestly but i'm enjoying it and i've been lucky enough to find wonderful pieces of native american art authentic not touristy things including a navajo blanket at uh, one of my favorite thrift stores so I do appreciate and love native and indigenous art. So this one is sitting there with another fabulous piece that I got years ago. This one here, and this is a signature piece too. Very cool. You know, I collect hams. <laughs> is it just, I just watched this fabulous documentary on this lady who found a um, Jackson Pollock and it just came up on my feed on YouTube. Look for it if you can. She was a lifelong diehard thrifter, as I am. I've been doing this for over 40 years. For about 35 years, my kids were, my eldest was about five years old the very first time I walked into a thrift store and was totally addicted. But anyway, the lady leaves the price tags on everything and I tend to do that too. I just want to remind myself of what a fabulous bargain I have encountered, right? But that's a fabulous documentary. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it took forever for her to um, to get it authenticated. Provenance and everything was one of the things that she ran up against because she had found it literally at a garage sale. So they had to trace the provenance in order to determine that the item is indeed authentic. They have determined it is authentic. She's been offered $3 million, $10 million, and she's still holding off, and I don't blame her. But anyway... Uh, Price tag on the A-OK -okay hand. I do collect hands. I love them. And this one I actually had up here. And then I took it down because I was so afraid my cat would run across it and knock it over. So now I put it down in another place. And it's okay. And, and that hand was $3. Then I always love to get bookends. I use them at work. I use them here. Uh, this one has a really nice... I think these actually had the tag from... Uh, they were tagged from Bombay. Bombay House or House of Bombay, whatever that was, remember years ago, I think they went out of business. They are bronze, beautifully weighted, wonderful. They had them priced separately. I think they had them priced for $4.99 a piece. And I always bring it up to them and I was like, I'm always telling them, that is a set, can you possibly let me have them for, the, for that, for $4.99 for the set? And they always tell me no, but I am very determined and continue to ask them to give me a price for the set because, you know, it's a set. So she let me have them for $8, 
uh, yeah, I think she let me have them for $8 for this set instead of 10 So I took them. I love them. And uh, definitely don't be afraid to ask the people at the Goodwill. They might say no, but they might say yes. It never, ever hurts for you to ask. Another thing is do not take it from the first word. I had an incident, the very last bag I got, the $35 bag. That is a video that is up right now. And I asked the lady at the counter if they had any, because I had seen the lady in front of me buy one. And she said, no, that's the end of it. And then I asked um, the lady that was working in the cashier behind her about two minutes later. And she actually snapped at me and said, I just told you, and I, I had to stop her. And I said, ma'am, you're not going to lecture me. And you're not going to stop me from asking this other woman something I want to ask her. So I asked the other woman the other employer and the other staff member and she said no I think that's all we have okay so I'm walking around the store I see the manager whom I know as the manager because I've been frequenting that store for over 10 years and um, she said I will make you one I am working on one in the back so she did indeed so there you go case closed ask and ask again and ask again a sealed book three women artists I really want to open this book, but it's sealed. Three women artists, and I always look for things like this that are not, they're kind of exclusive to a certain group or a certain region, a certain, um, a certain organization, maybe university presses or something of that sort, and that's why I picked this one up. And, of course, art, women, that kind of thing. Start uh, sorting it down, filtering down to that kind of genre. You might have yourself a really, really good book to flip. Then I got a happy light. These are used to um, help with your circadian rhythm for people that live in areas of the country or the world where there is low light and uh, not enough sunshine. I also use these on my plants, so I'll put them under around them and also they have helped with lighting in my videos so i always get them when they're new in a box or when they work for me and this one was ten dollars the book i got with a very good price at the time that i checked it was after afternoon of a fawn book and wonderful coffee table book so i have that one as well i got a fantastically fabulous mexican culture children's book Love that. I'll take that to my grandchildren or keep it in my classroom depending on their reaction if they're interested. The highly specialized book about taxes. That nice price on it. Don't recall it this time, but I do scan them with my Amazon seller app. I don't have a book scanner. I just kind of go on instinct and then I don't pick up that that many. I don't sit there and get a basket full usually, but that's another thing that I got. And what else? Oh. I hope I don't forget to take this to my granddaughter. I have to take this fabulous. This one is was quite a score because we had just been talking about my granddaughter needing a Barbie case. This one was new with tags. I think I didn't even make this type anymore. I had already bought her another one. I had found her this one at another thrift store and these were about three dollars so quite, quite a bit wider so i was really happy that i found that one and i can't take everything in my suitcase but i will take probably the black one i picked these up at the bin and th these are three for a dollar jackie bouvier kennedy cannot cannot leave that behind that'll get some interest on ebay or amazon this is an audubon book and I just kind of, and for my own education, I like to have things like this. Or some of the books I picked up as well. Tiger, he is so beautiful. He's by Lindsay. I do have him on a table in my room next to my plants. He's got the most incredible eyes. And he just looks so majestic, so statuesque over there. I thought I would list him, and I still may. But uh, he honestly is part of my very eclectic, very whimsical decor that I enjoy. Oh, I'm going to show you some handbags now. Now these handbags were from my friend and fellow longtime subscriber, Vanessa. You see her sometimes in my chat. She's an absolute doll, an absolute angel. And she sent me some wonderful handbags. She and I both love handbags. And one of them I already sold at my auction, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. This is an amazing, pristine Dooney & Burke. 
in the wonderful cream and chocolate brown. It is like new, as if she put it in the closet and never wore it. This is classic 80s Dooney. You do not see this kind of craftsmanship anymore. Dooney now has outsourced to China. And with that comes lower quality. Say what you will, go pick up a vintage Dooney. Pick up a vintage Dooney, touch the texture of the leather, and pick up a current Dooney, even though they call it all weather leather or pebble leather. It is not the same, it is not the same gauge of leather. This is quality at its best, and this one has sold, and it is beautiful. It's a beautiful crossbody. Thank you, Miss Vanessa, so very much. You're an angel. I both love Sharif as well. She also said Sharif and Fossil and Coach and that kind of thing. She had uh, this one as well. This one's fabulous. This has a lot of keys on it. <laughs> so cute. It's got the extra extra on the keys. Uh, it's got the coated canvas. Really pretty. I think there's another one. Uh, brightens on a strap for your phone. And I guess it's a small phone, but uh, I don't know. It's nice just to have for a wallet too. It has a zipper. It has places for your cards. Small phones. Some people are going back to the small phones. This is the Sharif, and this is Top Shelf Neiman's, circa 1990. <laughs> These were sold at Neiman's. They started at about $400. They are amazing, all leather, kind of a mosaic tapestry pattern there. That was their signature, pretty much. This is not the same quality you saw 20 years later on QVC, so don't mistake them for that when you see them out in the wild. You want the original. You want the quality that was considered the it bag. She also sent me this fantastic little pink beauty. Really pretty. It reminds me of a Louis Vuitton that had all this hardware. All leather, pink, new condition. No name on it. I couldn't find the name on it. But it's definitely a beautiful quality bag and a small little doctor bag style. I love this. It kind of reminds me of the coach design at the top. Crossbody, perfect for traveling. We do love We do love those crossbody bags. This is another Brighton. This one's perfect for only your phone. It has a little bit of a snake skin. Definitely adjustable on the strap. Love that. It's kind of that beautiful Prada-esque nylon that was put on the map back in the 90s. Patricia Nash, pretty much a wallet on a strap here. Love it. You move the wallet from the, st you can also remove the strap. Wonderful leather works, wonderful design from Patricia Nash at your fine department stores. Okay, a few more bags for Miss Vanessa. This one is a Brighton. It also reminds me very much of a Dooney. It's styled amazingly beautiful. It's like a mini brief and I just sold the mini brief um, Dooney that I did have so this kind of reminds me of it. I really love this one. Of course they do the mock crock quite a bit. In excellent condition. It does have a removable strap as well. It is the cutest thing I ever saw. I saw someone, uh, what was it? I don't know, some fashion, um, some fashion magazine, some fashion video. She was wearing a beautiful bag like this. This is also a Cherie woven leather bag. This has your metallic colors of gold and bronze and silver. It has a braided chain as well. And it is a mini drawstring. So beautiful. Okay, how lucky can you be? I don't know. I had almost given up on the bins. I was, uh, I had already interviewed someone I am doing a um, tell us what you got in your basket from the bins. It's a little segment I'm adding to my videos and I was just about to check out when I decided to go one more time around the edges where a lot of people kind of, they don't really go there after a certain time. They're all waiting for the new bins to come out and I find myself a Longchamp, a Longchamp made in France, fabulous mock croc logo. They're very low key. Very low key horse and rider there. Fabulous workmanship, amazingly beautiful. 
nowhere on it. And I bought this and I don't know, about three more items and it cost me all of $2.20 for everything that I picked up at the bins that day. So to say that I was ecstatic is a gross understatement. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell so you never miss another video. Thank you again. Bye-bye.